The BWSSP has issued notices to 5,000 houses in Bangalore for not installing rainwater harvesting units. Is this a case of too little and a little late? The government made rainwater harvesting mandatory in 2009. But this is a rule that has never been taken seriously by anyone. Initial cost of adopting a rainwater harvesting system is little higher, especially for the tank that we have to, some tank we have to construct. Even though other things may be not that costly. They may not have space to dig uh, uh, open well, investment, no time, all those things are there. <laughs> Rainwater harvesting has not become popular in the city. Many people think it is expensive and complicated. There are also questions on the quality of water and the space required to harvest the rain. But experts say all these issues are easily addressed. Typically, there is a misconception that rainwater harvesting cannot be done in a small house or on a small site. This is not true. What we have to do is to use common sense. For example, the rain barrel in our house is on the rooftop. Every site, even the smallest site, has a rooftop and generally a staircase room. So rain, bar rain barrels can be used to harvest rainwater very easily. The second thing is a sump tank. Most houses have a sump tank to store water from the BWSSB. The same sump tank can be used to harvest rainwater. You do not have to create an additional sump tank. With just a sump or a barrel, pipes and a basic filter, you are good to go. The process of setting up a rainwater harvesting unit is also quite simple. Rainwater harvesting is very easy to do and anybody can get it done in half a day or do it himself or herself in one day. The way to begin is to capture water at high points. For example, in this particular staircase roof of our house, we connect it to what is called a rain barrel. The system is easy. You have a plastic gutter which brings the water from the rooftop. There is something called a first rain separator to lay out the dirty water from the first drain. Once the first drain separator is closed, it comes out through a pipe and through a basic cloth filter. A cotton cloth folded three times and tied to the end of the pipe is the only filter we need and the water is then stored in this HDPE tank. Typically what we do is to keep the rooftop clean. We need to brush it before the rains come and ensure that the first two millimeters of rainwater is diverted away. What happens if the sump fills up? The overflowing water can be used to recharge bore wells, which are going dry all over Bangalore. It is ironic that people are buying water in tankers when they can easily recharge their wells. If by chance during a very heavy rain, the sump tank overflows, we do not allow that water to go waste also. We make what is called a recharge well. The recharge well is 2 feet in diameter, typically it can be 3 feet also in diameter. We use concrete rings and the depth we have taken the recharge well is about 12 feet. This recharge well not only takes the rainwater from our house and puts it into the ground, but also picks up rainwater from the roads and from the neighboring houses. In a year, it puts into the ground 1 million liters of water, thus bringing up the groundwater table and making sure that the bore wells around our area always have water of the best quality. Besides the lack of awareness about nitty-gritty of rainwater harvesting, most people resist it, thinking it is an expensive affair. If you are building a new house, it will cost you next to nothing. If you have already built one, it will not pinch your pocket. In a new house, if planned well, the additional cost incurred would be as less as 3,000 to 4,000 rupees because we only need to put in a filter, we would already have a sump tank, we would already have a gutter. For an old house, it may be slightly more expensive. A rain barrel like the one in our house would cost up to 5,000 rupees. Connecting it to a sump tank may cost up to 6,000 to 7,000 rupees. But considering the benefits it brings, the cost incurred is very minimal. The payoff from taking all this trouble is immediate and real. You may never have to buy water from tankers again. It will also make you a responsible citizen. When the rainfall intensity is rather high, we can get at least one tank, if not more, if I just use it for consumption. At the rate of about 400 to 500 liters which you use in the house, that will be enough for about 15 days for me. So whenever I get the water, I don't waste even a single drop of water and all the water is being uh, 
regulator to the open well and uh, I, uh, for the last four years I never draw the cover water. That it is suddenly not difficult. If we have a mind, we can just adopt any type of house for this system and collect water. And once we collect this water, at least 50% of the requirement of individual family could be met. On a 30-50 site, in a year, an average of 1.5 lakh litres of rainwater will fall. We are able to harvest close to 1 lakh litres and we are able to recharge the balance 50,000 litres. On a 60-40 site, you would get about 2.4 lakh litres of rainwater falling. This potentially could all be harvested and could potentially fulfill the requirement of a family of five for the whole year.